I was working 14 hour days, six days a week. I was putting a toll on my body. And I got a good look at myself on camera one day. And I thought to myself, people are paying money to see me. If I'm nowhere near the top of my game, then I'm cheating those that support me the most. Let's go. So I said, why not be the best version of myself possible? 365 oh, days a year, let's adapt to eating right, living better. Let's change this body style. At the end of the day, my body should never be comfortable. If I don't have to sit down at the end of our workout, if I don't need a moment, if I'm not breathing as hard as I can, if my chest isn't hurting for a second, then you didn't do your job today. We're almost a leading force by saying, hey, we got up this morning, we got ours in. Hey, 5.30 a.m. my day starts. What time does yours start? No excuses. Today, just landed, got off a plane, had two interviews, had to go on set. Didn't want to miss my workout. We decided to get a late night one in. No excuses, no days off. When I say training for life, I look at it as, as living for life. Putting myself in a position to where this is my schedule. This is my routine. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm now in love with. And I love the fact that my fans understand and know that I practice what I preach. I'm whatever you want me to be, baby. What I am is driven. But it's anger that has informed kind of my life and unflatteringly a sense of vengeance. Every damn person who said I wouldn't be anything, I'm crushing them every day. And I wish them no ill. I just wish to shine brighter. And if it burns my body to a crisp, I'm happy to go right now. I don't understand my own circumstance, my own situation. I don't understand, but I'm going to stand up to it. You got to ride it until bad turns to good, until wrong turns to right, until weak turns to strong, until sickness bows its knee. You got to ride it out. Come hell, come high water. Not only is it possible and necessary, and it's you to live your dream, to make this, this greatness that you have within you become a reality. But what I've come to appreciate when you're working on changing your life, changing some bad habit, getting out of addictive situations or relationships, or working to build a dream or making a difference in our society, and develop a great deal of respect for it. It's hard. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old and working on a job for 17 years and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay. And you got to start all over again. It's hard.